you people. Into tier 53, Lairus Jungle Gate Blue Team. Lemours is a Ravenna Alpha, a tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense, and a bit of support. It's going to pop up in a second. There he is, just a very enthusiastic surprise party thrower. Begins with a ranged weapon, but can get specialized melee gear alongside Dark Hero. Is a tech marine, starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage. Can also support the structures and repair, even get into some melee. The Dark Angels DLC. Rounded off the blue team here, Mustafa 007, the Chaos Sorcerer. Offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. Red team. We have Marora with a Warp Spider Exarch, a teleporter hero that fights in ranged combat by default. Great for capping and harassing with some powerful control abilities alongside. Inokura is a demon hunter, a melee spellcast with powerful control and support. And rounded off the teams, shoulder mount with an Aversor Assassin. A risk reward brawler fighting in melee combat who explodes on death. And apparently I've been saying this wrong. All this time it's not Eversor. He meant to say Aversa, which sounds mental to me, but I'll try and get used to it. Words are hard. Aversa just using his Psycon there. Giving him 30% more damage and damage resistance, but taking 100 health off. That's the Rift Tear from a Demon Hunter. Look at the range of it. Demon Hunter's over there in the right side of your screen. That's his AOE Snare that he starts with. 294 then, so the Demon Hunter's back up to 750 hit points these days. As always, check out donabor.info to uh, view those notes and stuff. Dark Hero with double tactical marines and double strike squad for Inokura. Triple stormtroopers here for shoulder mount. We got some banshees, got double formagons. Yeah, most likely into warriors and then raveners for Lamours, but you never know. Might try something weird. Tech marines in kind of a bad position. Needs to get some cover. There we go. Strat squad will close for melee. They do have the tomes of Titan. So they can throw out the banishment. I think it's 10 damage per... There it is. Per bolt. I'm not sure if it fires 2 or 3. I think it's 3. But it might be 2. Tactical Marines are chasing. Maybe they've used their Kraken bolts already. These guys coming in though. The second Tactical Marine squad. Using those Kraken bolts. Giving them 20% more damage versus heavy infantry. Doesn't bother the Banshees though. These guys are regular infantry. Trying to get into melee combat. with power melee weapons. You know what, the Sorcerer already went down on the eastern side. Now we get some good old blob capping between two players, which is rare. CSM from Mustafa into Noise Marines with that Sonic Blaster going towards the east side. Now can Dark Hero get a revive? Mastercrafted Bolter on the way. Every single Tech Marine game I've seen since 293 where this was loading cost has got the Mastercrafted Bolter. West side, we got some... Purgation with those incinerators trying to suppress this stuff. I think they were using Purge by Flame at the start there to snare them. Going to get surrounded now, the Aversa Assassin. Needs to run away. There we go. Maybe they can power bash and do some capping and stuff now. Ravana, no war gear yet. East side. Noise Marines and Heretics harassing the Warp Spider, but he got the cap. Heretics with an aspiring champion running into... A Guardian Weapon Team though, not a lot they can do about that. Here's a old Triple Strike Squad here for Inokura. Looks like they're going to try some Banishment shenanigans. So they need to control these Strike Squads with either a Jump Squad or some Suppression. Can get a Barb Strangler, which might also help against Shoulder Mounts composition here. Or get some Devastators. Looks like they're going for an Assault Squad. I would probably get Devastators because... Assault Squad jumping into Triple Strike Squad, yeah, knocks them over. But then they get up and smack the Assault Squad around, I assume. Triple Strike Squad will do some damage to a single Assault Marine Squad. Especially the Demon Hunter potentially in there with a power weapon or something. Got tunnels going up on the west side. Adrenal glands, I think for both of the Hormagorts. The other guys are inside the tunnel, I can't see them. Pushing up the west side now in... Meanwhile on the east side... There's that Sonic Blaster shutting down ranged weapons and the cacophony there. Gives time for Dark Hero to get into position, reviving the Sorcerer. And can now start firing that Mastercrafted Bolter and stuff. Not sure why the Noise Marines continue to push. And there's a Guardian Weapon Team right here. I think they are going to get away. Lucky to have two models. Heretics though, make it in. Maybe that was why. Just a screen a little bit for the Heretics to get in. Get some good work. Gonna get a decap and maybe some power bashing too. Do we do see a flamer on the way? No sign of one yet. We do see Artificer Armor for Proximity Mines. Oh. 
Oh, did they just... I think those stormtroopers just ran over a mine and died. There was nothing else around there. They must have been pretty low before they ran onto it. I don't think it does that much damage. Not often you see a wipe from a from a proximity mine, you guys. Here's your assault squad full of bash on the west side for the red team. We have a turret up. Sneakily placed so it's hard to get behind near that bunker there. 435 to 401. CSM very close to dropping a model, taking some shots from the Shuriken catapults, but they do get away. Dire Avengers with the aspect up on both, so we can see some grenades and stuff. Especially if these assault marines maybe jump in. Backing up to the turret, this thing will suppress units, do some decent damage too, if they get close, especially. There it is, kicking in. Maraud didn't know it was there. We might see some Wraith Guard in Tier 2 to help deal with it. Jumping in are the Assault Marines. And they got the Shuriken. Nothing else they could really do. The Banshees were not in place to counter-initiate, even if they did. Would have been dicey against two players here. Meanwhile, though, Inakura's gone all the way through the mid. And capped it up. Not sure where are those strikes got then. Oh, they're here. They're flanking. Just got a triple banishment thrown in. It does get a little bit more powerful when they get their Dusty Cart. Some Zinch Worship there. To infiltrate that Sorcerer. Full Power Bash by the blue team. That's not bad. Aspect of strength for the Howling Banshees. But they are Power Bashing themselves, the red team. Need to turn around and deal with that, fellas. Here we go. Where's the Doom Bolts? We'll do some work against Blobbed Up. Strat Squad wasn't super well shot. We have... Uh, Noise Marines inside the bunker. I think they escaped the wrath of the Strat Squad in there. Meanwhile, West Side, completely locked down here by Shoulder Mount. Double purgation. We do have Raveners. No war gear for the Ravener Alpha, though. Goes tier 2 before Shoulder Mount. Maybe they can get some uh, Gene Stealers up or something. Try and get in around and flank the purgation from this opening here. Could just run in with a Tyrant God, but these guys can also get Silencers. Which do decent damage to a Tyrant Guard. Looks like they broke out. Eversaw still here. Oh, just used the uh, Neurotoxin, I think. Yep, there it is. Execution of Pistol. Slows down the target and does 120 piercing damage over time. Doesn't say how much time. It's not quite as much damage as the high power truck. I think it's 140, yeah. So it slows down instead of suppresses and does the damage over time instead of in a big burst. Still a pretty decent weapon, though, especially for a melee character can help him chase stuff down stop things kiting and only make him mad tier 2 for all players aside from Maror not sure why all oh, right they spent a bunch of power on war gear as well got aspects up the aspects of the banshees and got a shuriken and here come rangers before tier 2 getting some rangers up center of the map completely red west side almost completely red more generators go up from the tuning player you have to try and break out and mount some kind of push. Put this stuff is back out into the field. Do they have grenade launchers? Nope. Might see triple plasma in tier, in tier 2. That'd be fun. Scout squad with a sergeant and stuff. There's that banishment. It is nasty, isn't it? The instant damage. Especially three of them will do in it. And they do have their Justicars, cars, I think. Yes, they do. I always forget these days if the Justicar. car... Because he has a sword, right? Yeah, I'm not, I don't think it's a power weapon. I don't think it is. But it might be. They are certainly tearing up the Assault Marines. Holy crap. Do not jump into there, fellas. Good grenade, though, from Dark Hero. Got away somehow with two models on those Assault Marines. Maybe get some suppression, guys. Where are your Devastators? Where are your Havocs to control these Strat Squad, fellas? You have double noise marines. There's going to be double blast masters on this east side. And the turret is still there. I guess that's one way to suppress this strat squad blob. Oh boy. Here's a bio meltdown. And there's the explosion. Did not retreat soon enough. You need to kind of treat it like a touch of Nogi. You need to get the hell out of there. Ravana Brood barely survived with the enhanced muscle coil. But all the Hormagaunts wiped. It looks like there were some rippers in there too. Bio meltdown is a global ability of the... Eversa is quite expensive. I think it's 175 red these days, like Touch of Noble. Damage is nearby enemies over time, as you saw. 
also drains the health of the Eversor Assassin. And when he dies, there's a bigger explosion than normal, which is what you saw there. So you need to uh, recognize that quickly and get the hell out of it. Make him waste his 175 red. I mean, if it if it makes you retreat, maybe it's not a waste, but it's better than taking all that damage. Four strike squad for Inokura. You need some suppression, guys. That's not just the turret. The turret's gonna be taken out by a bright lance here. There it goes, given vision by the infiltrated rangers. Last masters. This. There we go. You're gonna shoot, fellas? Nope. Sorcerer just standing out in the open. Decent hit on those dire avengers there. Banshee's trying to get in, stopped by the Doom Blast. But they still get onto the noise marines there. Got some special attacks too. They're trying to get to the garrison. They're constantly being knocked over because as you move, you lose melee skill, which makes you easier to knock down by special attacks. West side, Rhino up here for shoulder mount with a heavy bolter turret on it. We do have Venom Brood in play though. They will not be able to, yeah, they're not even bothering to get the ranged synapse because there's no other ranged units on the field to benefit from it. The Ravenous have their muscle coil, which means they benefit from melee synapse and it's on the way. So maybe we'll see some Gene Stealers. We do have Plasma Guns all around for shoulder mount. Oh, one of them doesn't have Plasma Guns. Tactical Marines getting a Sergeant in the mid. May see them turn into Stern Guard. We have a Razorback too. Much like the Rhino. Provide some fire support. Allows it to reinforce and transport infantry. The Rhino though does have the Pintle Mounted Storm Bolter as well. And the choice of a last cannon which we did not, did not see this time. Look at this. Melee Ravener with an Acid Splatter, Hardened Carapace allows it to burrow like this, and his Synapse Aura for damage, so we could get a nasty melee army from Lemores if they get Gene Stealers up. Decent Blastmaster shot there. Oh, but they wiped him out with a grenade, got some revenge, as they turned into little pieces. Right, Lance, maybe he can get a shot on the Razorback, not quite. There's the Sigil of the Rift to displace them. Heretics in play, and they're going to have to retreat. Oh man, some friendly fire though from the Blastmaster. Look at that. 346 to 268, just as planned, eh? Tier 3 for Mustafa. I wonder if the Lemores will go straight tier 3 now. I'm sure Barb Shrangler Khan effects will be really fun to use against 4 Strike Squad. Here they are. Acid Splatter, Ravana Alpha in there, is he? There he is. Oh, Catalyst on the Ravana Brew too. Doubles their damage for a duration, but does mean that they drain health. Or rather, lose health over time. Really messed up this strat squad, but they do get away. And they took out the Warrior Brood. Now it's just a Ravana Alpha there. What can he do with the Acid Splatter? I believe the Splatter is piercing, right? Yeah. But the initial hit is Power Melee. Attacks quite slowly, so it's delivered in decent bursts. Autark dropping in. Those stunning plasma grenades. But well, those guys were already retreating. And we do have the spear up for the Howling Banshee's XR. All top can also get a spear, but she picks up the wrong one. There it is. She's got a power melee spear. Not a heavy melee one. 346 to 226. Is that triple plasma now? It is triple plasma. If they can chain together that overcharged plasma shot. It's going to be really tough for things to approach. Red team putting on the pressure, piling on the pressure after Maror was under a lot of pressure on this side earlier on. Where is the suppression, guys? Mustafa's gone tier 3 early and hasn't got anything out. It's kind of set them back a bit. But maybe he can get some tanks going, perhaps. Maybe even Terminators? They could drop Terminators right now. And I think they just did, in fact. Triple three to two two six on the VPs. Here they are. Maybe we'll see some lightning claws to tear through the strat squad. I assume these guys both. Nope. We have a conversion beam. They both don't both have silencers, but these guys do have their silencers. Good damage to all targets on the silencers, with the rending ability giving you extra versus heroes, which is quite fun. Well, quite fun for the purgation. Back into melee is Lamours. Replace the warrior brood. Now getting some G stealers. Warrior Brood barely making it out of there. Ravenous Burrow striking in. 
gives that nice stun on knockback now from this. What else do they get? More health and 33% damage output. Stay underground indefinitely. It's a really cool upgrade for those guys. 305 to 226 on the VPs. Inakura is in tier 3. I assume it's going to be a land raider or something to, su to support the uh, strike squad army. Any war gear for this guy? He's got his mines. Imperian brain mines. He throws four of them at a time, kind of like a metroid. Damage and cripple. Okay. Tech Marines got Artifice up, which we saw earlier, and orbs of the Omnissiah. Plasma guns raining in on the Terminators. They are demoralizing things as they kill them. They're going to kill these Banshees, I think. Smack. Power Fist getting a good hit, but they need to teleport away. Somehow didn't drop a model there. Here comes a Razorback. Uh oh. Double grenade doesn't quite finish off the noise marines. Now they can just reinforce off the Razorback though. Trying to finish them off with the Warp Spider. Maybe he should have got behind some cover first. They should be able to get rid of him quite quickly here. Yeah. These guys can just get out and reinforce off the Razorback. I'm not sure if he can reinforce while you're garrisoned. I don't think he can. If you were like already on Overwatch reinforcement. Oh, Autoc tried to do a Sky Leap. But the animation took too long and she died. Super died. Oh, they're not going to reinforce off the Razorback. They're going to run away. Fair enough. Here's all the strat squad you want. 16 of them. Yep, all have their Justicars. cars. All have the Tomes of Titan. I want to see a, a quadruple banishment here. Still no Devastators to... Uh... There it is. Wasn't that bad. Ravenna Brood... And the Venom Brew didn't... Oh, well, it's quite bad for the Venom Brew. Look how low they got there. I assume they were full health. Can never entirely predict how exactly it's going to, like, hit. I don't think they both go in exactly the same place, the two bolts. It's another banishment flying out. We now have Acolytes for the Stormtroopers, all of them. Yep. Gives them the awesome fanaticism upgrade uh, ability, rather. I think it boosts their damage, doesn't it, as well? It used to boost their damage. So many things have changed. Blue team have the eastern side back. And they've gone for an auto cannon. The terminate is not lightning claws. And they're pretty low here. Heretic's kind of hanging out. Maybe get some shrines up, fellas. This is nuke bait as well for the red team. And shoulder mount does have a nuke ready. Maraw, not that far off having a nuke ready. Tier 3 for Dark Hero. Look at the damage pouring in on the Terminators now. Dark Reapers in play. These guys are pretty good for shooting up heavy and super heavy infantry. That was a little warp there from the Sorcerer. They're still being chased. A little bit of fanaticism to try and get some more damage on, but they got suppressed. Heretics being shot to pieces, reinforcing off the Razorback. Fanaticism gives you, I think it's 1.5 seconds or 2 seconds of invulnerability. Here are your Gene Stealers, melee superiority unit. And really slice you up pretty good. Bad news for the Strats, but if they get in there, Land Raider Crusader is on the way for Inagura. Kicking off on the east side. Blue team pushing up. It's a good jump. Maybe a grenade to follow. I think the grenade maybe already went out. Do you both have sergeants, guys? Yep, both of the tactical marines have sergeants. As a bolt pistol and a chainsaw. The good bolt pistol, though, does more damage than the other fella's bolt guns. Trying to flank here is Lemours. This could backfire spectacularly. Could get pincered. Looks like it's only from one side. There's that overcharged plasma. Ravenous burrow striking in. But you have to run. That's a lot of Storm Bolters from these Strat Squad fellas. Soon they're going to have a Land Raider. Not sure if it'll go east or just push through the mid. They got a decap there. It was the Aversa Assassin. Do you have any more War Gear, Mr. Demon Hunter? Nope. What about you, Warp Spider fella? Nope. Level 4. Got the same stuff. Decap there from the Ravenet Alpha. Well done. Would have had a would have been a one to one instead of a single if that didn't happen. What is this? Warp Spider is being called in by Maror. Instantly getting the aspect. Land Raider Crusader is up. So is a Librarian. Right here. 
with the four staff that's to help against the strike squad because he gives the force barrier look at that banishment flying in messed up the tactical marines really badly you need to use your you need to get away boy trying to use the force barrier just gets shot to death took way too long 286 to 148 there's a jump and there's an orbital I assume from Dark Hero. Oh, well done. That merciless strike knocked them straight into that beam. Beautifully done. How much damage is this going to do? Pretty good damage. Holy crap. And they follow it up. One of the beams hit the Land Raider too. There's the orbs. And it does disable the Land Raider. Nothing really to follow that up though. Need some anti-vehicle fellas. They do have a tank. Looks like it's going Mark of Nurgle though, which is more anti-infantry. Gives it way more health, health regen, and a melee resist. The auto cannon gets this green Nurgle crap. Doing damage over time. As I said, a bit more anti infantry than anti vehicle. A wire on the tank here. Shuts down the weapons and makes it move slower. Trying to chuck grenades in there. Look at that. Didn't do much. See that demoralization? That's every time the Terminators, or well, those Chaos Terminators, get a kill. They demoralize nearby enemies. Can't kind of effects on the way for the more, surely with a barbed strangler. And look at this, double missile launchers. Here's your anti-vehicle. Fire prison for Maror and Grey Knight Terminators for shoulder mount. These guys have splash damage, power melee halberds. Not quite as scary as lightning claw terminators, but still pretty scary. Can they get some missile shots? Oh, there's the Holocaust. Floating these guys in the air. Orbs go in. Drains all the energy off the Terminators. They can't teleport away now. Oh, but it comes back. How did it come back? I don't see any strike squad nearby. Oh, it must have been it must have been sanctified from the Demon Hunters Global Bar. I think it's 75 red and it gives you 75 energy. Pretty handy there. Allowed those guys to teleport away. That was quick thinking from Inagura. 248 to 148. 100 VPs to make up for the red team, but they're, they're in a decent position here, you got to say. Shoulder Mount just dropped some Stormtroopers, but I'm... Oh, they're just subjugated. They're not dropped, here they are. And now they're back in Shoulder Mount's control. There's the Tome of Subjugation. You'd expect it to be used on the Terminators, but I guess they were already too far away or something. Here's your Carnifex going for the Barb Strangler. Fire Prism is going east side to try and help lock down that VP with some disruption. Shot him out using the level 4 Stormtroopers over here to Power Bash. Yeah, Blue Team are really pinned back. Some Devastators will do pretty well here, I think. Look at all the infantry you can suppress. Havocs as well. I mean, I guess it doesn't stop these guys firing off their banishment, does it? 213 to 148. I wonder how problematic this is going to end up being. A relatively spammable squad having this instant damage attack. Very hard to dodge. It's not cheap to do this, and I think more could have been done to control and nullify those guys, i.e., suppression. But you can't really jump into them. You can't really jump into four of them, they get chopped up. The Assault Marines tried it. That was rending there. Now they're being subjugated. But I think they're going to take out the Sorcerer as he subjugates them. Trying to get them into trouble. Kind of did. And they're trying to chase down the Fire Prism here. With what though? They don't have a Melter Bomb anymore because they're Vanguard. They don't have the Power Fist. The Razorbacks just shoot again. All oh, right, Tactical Marines are inside dirt. They got the kill. Just one of the squads, I think. Where's the other fellas then? Oh, they're both in there. I think they're both in there. Orbital on the east side from maybe Inakura. Did some work. Terminator's all right, though. Look at the land ready just sitting on this VP with a whole bunch of Eldar support. Grey Knight Terminators are here. We have a conversion beam or two. Which the Khan effects doesn't like. 137 to 148. Red team in a really good position to see this game out now. Although blue team taking back the east side. 
if they can all converge onto this from two different angles coming down the stairs, maybe they can do some work. We have the wrist mounted silencers. Effective against most infantry, it says here. So, are they different from the purgation silencers? Which are good versus all targets? I'm not sure. It used to be that silencers were anti infantry. 111 to 148 fire dragons on the way for my roar. Double fire dragons, maybe? Any more war gear? No more war gear. I want to see the new war gear, damn it. Demon Hunter and the Aversa Assassin got some buffs in 294 in terms of war gear costs. 98 to 148. Raven Alpha's down there. It's really difficult. Look at the nuke bait though. Do they not have any? They don't. Imagine an Imperial Abyss right there. Getting some shots on the land raid, but not a lot. Thinking about rushing in from the side. Now the Razorback is stuck. Taken out by a Haywire. Did they get double Fire Dragons then? I only see one of them. They have their Dragon Scale Armor which prevents weapon knockback. Oh, down go those Tactical Marines. What were they even doing there? Oh, I guess they were capping this. Oh, drops both of those Tactical Marines, you know. These guys need to run. There we go. 78 to 148. Got the decap, needed a little bit more finesse after that to maybe move away towards the west so you don't retreat through all this stuff. Easier said than done. Chaos Terminators versus Grey Knight Terminators, they're getting wrecked by them because these guys with the power melee just slicing through. And down they went. Terminators teleport away with two models. 76 to 148. I think the Carnifex got itself into a bad place here. Do you have your... Oh, Eldritch. Well dodged, you know. Needs to stay away, though. Just going back in. We see this quite a lot. Players underestimate how long the storm lasts for, and they just drive back into it. Should be okay, I think. Carnifex is not okay. multi is getting close enough for some hits. Double cap now for the red team. They have this game. They're going to get a triple. There it is. Blue team fight to the end, but it didn't, didn't deal with the strat squad super well. Kind of stuck in tier 2 for a while. Dark hero as well. Tiny effects on the way for Lamours. Lamours getting caught in that bio meltdown. Didn't help either. Those guys super died. Down goes the tank as well. Dark hero has nothing on the field. There's a GG. And there's the game, with an orbital going on, those guys pop their fanaticism. Let's look at these heroes. Level 4 Raven Alpha was kitted out for melee, certainly did a bunch of it. We have a level 4 Tech Marine, did have a motor gun at the end. Level 3 Chaos Sorcerer. Level 6 Warp Sweater Exarch, Demon Hunter, didn't get anything else, just the mines. Did he throw any out? He must have been thugged, oh here they are. Here we see the Empyrean Brain Mines. And the Shoulder Mounts, Eversar Assassin with the Assault Armor for charge. And Onslaught Injectors. A little bit more speed, charge range even higher, and more melee skill per tier, which is handy. Well, they have it. Blue team overrun by a whole bunch of banishment. They were banished, you could say. Could have done more, I think, to deal with that. And some mistakes here and there, but hey, it's a 3v3. If you didn't get any mistakes, the game would never end. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.